So I always love asking about the value of a good scene partner, but it feels especially important here because it's a two-hander and there are just so many moments between the two of you where you say so much without a whole lot of dialogue. So for each of you, can you tell me about a time when the other was just the scene partner you needed and helped you access something in your own character that you wouldn't have been able to reach without him? Well, there's a scene where I come back to find him and he doesn't know I'm there. And one of the first lines I say to him is, I love what you've done with your hair. And I don't think there's anyone who I could have have done that not many people i could have done that with it's a very special quality of dars and he elicited that uh that improv so i i thank you for that you are a wonderful You're scene partner you can use my bald head at any any time yeah no i could have done those scenes with anyone i uh, don't believe that for a no, second no 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 honestly i mean what can i tell you it's 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 he is he is one of our generation's best actors uh, yeah 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 he is yeah, yeah. so uh, and you know, in the hands of <laughs> of, of Garicci, it was just um, uh, it made it possible and easier for us to thank to, God for Guy because we would have been at each other's throats. It, it would have been, yeah, been a comedy. Basically, it would have been without Guy, would have been a comedy. You know, not a funny comedy, but we would have made a comedy. <laughs> right. I'll watch you guys do a buddy comedy next. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, in Danish. I would love down. Let's give her some answers now. Okay, sorry. Yes. Bringing up Guy, I was uh, listening to another interview you had done, Jake, where you were uh, talking a little bit about how he encouraged you guys to not necessarily memorize your lines, but rather to to work things out on set on the day together. So uh, what what would you say is, I guess, a new uh, tool in your acting toolkit, so to speak, that you know came from having that experience that you're eager to apply on a future set, even if it isn't run that particular way? I mean, you know, it it wasn't, it was about discovery in the morning. You know, we would write, he would write the scenes in the morning. So based on what we had discovered throughout the process, it would then evolve and change. And then he would add things. One of the examples I could give you is there was an improv that I said at one point uh, where I said, there were a lot of dogs barking at the end of scene. And I said, oh, there are a lot of dogs around here. And then he cut that scene together very quickly, cuts very quickly. Uh, and he put together a rough assembly of that scene and that ended the scene. And then he asked for that line because he remembered it and he wrote it in a scene much farther, deeper into the movie. Mm-hmm. And it has real significance as a result. So he works like that. You know, um, it it is written and it is written by him, but it comes from discussions in the morning. If we have an idea, we bring it to him. He yays or nays it and we move forward. So to me, um, it was about agility, you know, yeah. the the agility to be open to something that comes to you, use your imagination. And I, I guess it's really about enjoying inspiration in a moment. And so if it comes in a scene now, Oftentimes I'll bring it up, even if it's a, it's a no to a filmmaker I'm working with. I think that part of me is, uh, is, has been awakened by this process with Guy. How about for you, Dar? Yeah. I mean, it, it's also something that, you know, but you, I, the first week was very scary for me because, you know, Guy Ritchie, Jake Gyllenhaal, and you come very prepared as an actor. You want to show what you got and you just have to throw it all away, which is actually the case in, 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 in all scenes that you work Every, you always have to throw everything away, your preparation. But in this case, it was like literally everything, the lines, everything. And for me, that was scary working in a different language on a big set. But uh, you have to remember that you're in good hands and you have to just don't use any capacity to beat yourself up over why you didn't do it like this or if this line was wrong. It just reminded me of the 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 beauty of the creative process of just really trusting your abilities and trusting yourself and being there and trusting your your partner and uh and trusting that you know you're working with a true leader that will you know he will make the symphony fit at the end they're kicking me out of here i will say thank you for your time congratulations and the the buddy comedy next please Absolutely. thank you so much yeah Bye.